Now I'll share a story. A 15 years old boy came to me with a history of fever, throat pain for three days, which subsided with appropriate antibiotics. After seven days, he had excruciating pain in his knees, followed by swelling. He was almost crying in pain. His parents brought the patient to me. Ultimately, he met with the diagnosis of acute rheumatic fever. So it was one sort of arthritis which happens usually in the childhood population. His parents couldn't understand how arthritis can happen in this age group. But I tried to convince, ultimately it succeeded. Hi, dear all, I am Dr. Arup Kumar Shav. I am a physician rheumatologist working with Apollo Group. Now I share few important words regarding fever, throat pain, joint pain which is commonly seen and encountered in the community. So what it can be? There are few possibilities. One is rheumatic fever. One is reactive arthritis. One is the coincidental phenomena of arthritis along with the preceding illness of some respiratory tract infection. So how to address these problems? Here, one common misconception, mismanagement among healthcare providers, which I notice is injudicious administration of penicillin prophylaxis in this group of patients. It's to be kept in mind, not all patients presenting with these symptoms are rheumatic fever and mostly they don't need any long-term penicillin prophylaxis. Now how to do approach this group of patients? Mostly we do ASO titer in the workup of fever and arthritis. Sometimes we find raised ASO titer in the investigation report. Does it mean the patient is having rheumatic fever? The answer is no. Merely raised ASO titer along with fever, arthritis doesn't mean rheumatic fever. There are few criteria to establish the diagnosis of rheumatic fever. All healthcare providers should adhere to this protocol. In this way, we can stop injudicious use of penicillin in the community among the affected individuals. For your information, there is one parallel entity which we call as post-streptococcal reactive arthritis. It sounds synonymous with rheumatic fever, but it differs in presentation and also in management. This is also a type of arthritis which occurs after throat infection. Here also we find raised yesotitis, but in this entity heart involvement is very rare and most of the patients need acute management and symptomatic therapy to alleviate his symptoms. And they usually don't need long-term prophylaxis with penicillin. Mostly, it is a self-limiting disease without any robust intervention. So my request to all healthcare providers and also 
to all of my patients don't panic on the value of raised ASR and be vigilant what is happening wrong with you. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.